So this is my reveal video for the uh, Amiga Models kit, um, which is a resin model in 172nd scale, and this is of the GL633, uh, which is um, by the company, GL stands for, uh, I'm going to murder the French uh, here, but it's a, it's a French company called um, Gordou Les Yeux, or something to that effect. Um, one of those sort of oddities, again, that was uh, used in the Spanish Civil War, and there was a French aircraft as well, uh, which I think is a civilian one, it was in um, bare metal. Just a really sort of odd and unusual aircraft, um, and again, one of them ended up in the Spanish Civil War, which is the sort of things like that is the reason why I like the period. Um, I finished my kit in um, that livery. Uh, I have done a f couple of things slightly wrong. Um, on the rear portion here, it's not actually meant to be the entire rudder, it's just meant to be a, a patch uh, of the uh, flag like that. And we are meant to have um, somewhere along the back here, there's meant to be um, on this portion of the fin, uh, G71, which is the code for that. Um, there is a, a couple photographs of this actual aircraft in Spain, um, believe it or not. Uh, but the decal that came in the kit had a green backing to it. So you would have never matched up the green with, with the colour I used. And I'm trying to cut it out and then, you know, one thing and another, I just chose not to put it on. But I have used the decal from the kit uh, with the LG008 on the fuselage. Um, the kit was okay. It's very much a sort of um, handmade resin kit, if that makes sense. Uh, I, looking at the picture and sort of trying to weigh things up, I decided early on I wasn't going to try and make a very accurate model because I think I was already too far away from from that with um, a few sort of uh, inaccuracies regarding the kit. But um, it's a, certainly a long way away from if I was trying to scratch build one. So I was quite happy to go with the kit in that instance. And the things I'm talking about really aren't worth mentioning. It's just like ribbing on the fuselage I don't think was actually present. A few of the issues around with the spar here and how all of these spars sort of fit. It was very vague in the kit and I just kind of did the best I could <coughs> with the parts that were there. Um, and then the, the skid as well, it's just a bent piece of wire because there, was, there wasn't actually, an, the, the thing in the kit was just a, a blob of resin. So um, overall I'm reasonably happy. It's not something that I'm going to you know, parade around um, the showground and put at the front of the uh, stand and say it's the best kit. But it is going to make it onto the display and um, it represents the, uh, the unusual um, aircraft. It is my first resin kit and... Um, a sort of mixed results on it to be honest uh, as far as I'm concerned certain aspects of it are far easier to use than um, making a, a traditional sort of injection molded kit and then other parts of it are a little bit sort of um, more difficult I found the one piece fuselage uh, a, a, bit, a bit of a breath of fresh air the one thing I found with the resin kits is um, as you glue it together with super glue, you, you're pretty much eliminating the issue for um, seam lines and things like that. So it's a lot faster to get the kit together. Uh, my only issue on this one was was the trickiness of all that strut work at the front there, which I kind of have just done by by best guess really. And um, however it it sort of fits, I've just kind of gone with it. I think it's these portions um, along here are almost definitely meant to be vertical, for instance, and they're slightly going in and. Uh, I, like I said, it's just blobs of wire there coming out for where the um, wheels sit on. But again, like I said, as far as representation, I haven't gone too bad. I've barely weathered it or anything like that. Um, so, uh, for what it is, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I did get this kit at a discounted price from the um, supplier. I'm not sure, I think it's you know around sort of 40 quid if you're looking at Hanant's and stuff. I'm not sure it's worth that particularly but um, I think I paid around 20 quid and um, I did a review of these two and I got sent one for free as well from the company so I think all in all I'm probably um, up on it but yeah you probably want to bear that in mind if you were if you were thinking about getting one of these kits yourself it is a lot of money um, so weigh that up you know it depends how much work you want to get into it and it depends how accurate you want to be from a modelling perspective. But as far as a project, I'm um, happy with it. I'm glad it's uh, come to an end and it's going to be an unusual subject for my display. And um, it's going to be a very beneficial thing to have on the table, I think. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the um, pictures that are about to follow. I've taken a few snaps of this one. Um, as always, thanks for viewing. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like. If you like the channel, please subscribe. 
any comments, please leave them below. I always uh, read them, and I'll see you in the next video.